Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are on another Napoleon Total War online battle. But today is a bit of a challenge between me and Carl von Clausewitz. We wanted to just see who would win between an army of normal proportions, so a normal online army, as you can see here, which is my army, versus an army of only cavalry. Here they are, the Chasseur à Cheval. Looking very nice indeed. But let's go through the army compositions. I'm sure you can guess what Carl's is straight away. So on my side, we have six units of the glorious German Fusiliers. Look at those white uniforms. I can't imagine they were white for very long when they were on campaign. We have four of the Grenzers in a more sensible brown jacket. Two units of the seven pound howitzer. Um, on top of that, my elite troops, we have the 1st Regiment Emperor's Own. Look at these boys, looking splendid. Look at those shakos, very, very nice. And we have the Archduke Charles Legion, looking very nice indeed with the brown uh, uniforms and blue pants. And the 47th Czech Regiment, another lovely elite unit ready to go there. Um, and a standard general's bodyguard on top of four units of the standard Ulans. Now, on the other side, I'm sure you can guess. 19 units of Chasseur à Cheval and a standard general staff. I believe it's 19. Let's just check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, plus 4. Five, yeah, 19 units of the Chasseur à Cheval, plus a general staff. Did manage to hide some Ulans in the trees over here. But, guys, I will uh, come back to you when the battle starts, because there is a little bit of manoeuvring to go with to start with, and I will be back just as the battle starts. So guys, here we are back at the battle, and as you can see, he's kind of faked me out by putting his troops on that far side and moving them all the way back around. So that means I'm going to have to reorganize my cannons and everything. Oh, just have to a phone call there. But yes, just cannons, all that sort of thing had to be moved again, but we are in a reasonably decent position. And, of course, we are manoeuvring. Here are the Chasseur à Cheval. Very, very potent unit, guys. Probably one of the most potent units in the whole game. Here they come. Fantastic. Looking excellent. My infantry not quite in position yet, so that is going to be fatal. That is going to be a brutal decision, brutal mistake to be making. And as you can see, here come the rest of the armies in layers, ready to fight. Which is excellent on them. But yes, the Grenzers are going to get caught out. But I wasn't too unhappy by that. Because I knew that meant that he could charge the Grenzers. Um, and probably the Grenzers would uh, defend. As you can see, the Chasseur à Cheval running through the middle. They do get into these German Fusiliers, but they are between squares. But once again... These chasseurs are brutal, guys. Absolutely brutal. Look at them. They just shred squares. Like, you can just get your units like this and shred a square without even having to worry too much. But I wanted to kind of place my units back here in the gaps. So if they did charge through, we could fire at them. As you can see, they're just out of range. Which was a bit of a problem on top of that. He does manage to charge the howitzers because... How would he not charge the howitzers? Like, not just going to let them uh, go through. Look at these Grenzers going for the fight. Trying to get involved in melee just to get rid of them. As you can see, I was bringing some of my German Fusiliers up here. And I haven't sprung my trap yet with my Ulans hiding in the forest. But I do have my Ulans over here ready to charge into their back. Trying to force them in towards this infantry. But as you can see... the. The Chasseurs of Cheval, just so strong. So unbelievably strong. Yes, very good. This Chasseur doing well. Here comes the trap of the Ulans. They are going to get their charge in. Come on, boys. 
Here we go. Let's go for the charge. Fantastic. And we've got the charge on the other side simultaneously as well. Yes, great charge. Over here as well, we've got the charge. But as you can see, he's maneuvering very well. Try and shoot into my ranks, which is working very well for him. He was going after my general here as well, trying to get my general away. As well as the Archduke Charles Legion. And they couldn't form square because of these two units of the enemy caught on them, which was quite annoying, to be honest. But the chasseurs just doing absolutely huge amounts of damage to the squares. The squares cannot stand up to them. You really need to face these guys in lines. But that doesn't work. As you can see, this chasseur running into the square. I ran my Ulans by this way to try and get them to shoot into, the, uh, into those chasseurs to try and win. Get a rally off over here. But the general runs. The fool. The fool runs away. And he just ran his chasseur straight through that square. I don't know how that happened. but As you can see, guys, challenge-wise, Cav a lot stronger than infantry. A lot stronger than infantry. So, guys, meta tactic. If you want to win a battle in Napoleon Total War, just bring cavalry, as we can see. So these guys were up there to try and shoot. Because the uh, generals run away, they are routing very easily. Which is quite embarrassing on their part. So these guys are going to get a volley off. Come on, boys. Okay, just a couple of them. But yeah, once again, the micro of Carl is very, very strong. He had already microed them away, microed them in, and then moved these guys all within one little block. Even the M Archduke Charles Legion, still with 98 troops, which is a lot of troops routing. So quite embarrassing on their part to route that, that, that way. But these guys, one shot in the back, route. So <laughs> what happens when your general dies, guys. So, to conclude, guys. Is an all-cavalry army a way to win in Napoleon Total War Online? Absolutely. Absolutely. And as you can see, look at this, 499 kills, it's so bad. Like my full army that was full amount of cost, um, I think 20 troops honestly, 20 units, killed 499. <laughs> it's so bad. Did lose more than that because of friendly fire. Uh, but yeah, lost 1,500, killed 499. So guys... <laughs> Genuinely, if you want to win in Napoleon Total War, it's possible to win just with cavalry. Um, be interesting if we reran this to run it with just melee cav and see what happens as well. Um, see whether you can win just with melee cav because melee cav find it very hard to get through those squares. These guys, though, which are cheaper generally than melee cav, can absolutely shred them, as you've seen, and they are beasts. Guys, if you are France, bring these guys. At least a couple of units of them. They are so strong and so cheap for the cost. But yes, an all-cav army beats a standard army. Especially when you bring rifled <laughs> cavalry. <laughs> oh, brutal. Brutal, guys. Brutal. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed, guys. If you've got any ideas for any more challenges we could do on Napoleon or any other Total War game, please do let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. That really helps the channel out. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you again on the next video.